I always was surprised when I touched a sculpture and it was cold, but I was expecting to be warm because it seems so alive. I want the same feeling in my painting. All my research is about femininity as a word that embraces every kind of person without categorizations and uh, distinctions. All my bodies are from real persons with real stories. My aim is uh, to create a world where all these bodies are confident, enjoying themselves without uh, hierarchy. In my paintings, everything is so ambiguous. We don't identify someone specifically. I think that this is the best way to let the viewer be comfortable to speak of its own experiences and to decide what's happening in that work. From a very young age, it was ingrained that the world is not a safe place to be if you're a woman. That's especially true in South Africa because of our levels of gender-based violence. I really want to create a sense of drama and tension in my work. I also think about the body as a site of conflict. So I touch on intimacy and sexuality and then how that contradicts with violence. And I'm always trying to create these soft spaces in my work where women are allowed to feel that they can be free and show their bodies and take up space and feel safe and still experience the beautiful parts of being a woman, which are warmth and tenderness. And I just try and show the complexity of womanhood. I don't paint with a plan. I just paint to see if my mirror is still there. So it's more of a self-portrait every single time I'm making a painting. I use sensory locomotion in my work. If you can see a shore gets crashed into by a wave, I will want you to hear it as well. All the black is very muted, so you can feel like a pin drop in that space. Silence. I don't like attention being drawn onto the face. I use body language more, and that's where the color is highlighted, because I like to look at figures as a vessel for the body itself. The only thing I ask myself is if it looks like me.